it's Monday. The sun is shining. There's no wind in the 70s. I like it. I got a doctor's, I think I told you, I got a doctor's appointment today at 2.45 to check out my eyes. The tide at NADA is about that same time, but I got three reports from NADA, and it's terrible, so so I should be able to get back home and go to the bay and hunt in the water like I did the last spin. That's my plan. I just took the 11-inch uh, footprint. I may use it in the bay, in the water, because it's not no tide much, you know, it's just, you know what it is. And I took the antenna wire out. I had the antenna wire inside the shaft. I never liked it inside. I don't know if I like it outside either, but I'm going to try it on the outside. This is the Steve's carbon fiber rod here, not the factory one. <clears throat> I use the RC mounted on the shaft today. That'll be this afternoon. Stand by for a few knives. Now this is the box that came in Saturday from RK California, wherever that is, 95521. It's a returning customer. He sent me some knives, I think, uh, maybe last year or the year before. I'm not sure which. Let's get these out of here and take a look at them. Well, here you go. 20. 17 case knives. Three pocket knives. A Chinese, a Japanese buck looking knife. A Spyderco police. A bench made. 890 maybe two nice bucks some one that need tender loving care original bowie and assorted knives gerbers look at this one i should move that one over there with the tender loving care ones dive knife gerber dagger and a trophy skinner. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Thursday is my Williamsburg run. Thursday's also the day that I pick up my culinary school knives. If you remember back every year about this time, this big culinary school calls me and wants me to sharpen all their knives for the upcoming season. So Thursday, I'm going to pick up unknown amount. I think last time it was 30 or 40 big chef's knives and 30 or 40 pairs. If you remember, if you remember, he was on here. I presume it's going to be the same. Could be more. I doubt it's going to be less. We'll have to wait and see how that goes on Thursday. A knife week. <laughs> oh boy. Stand by. Well, we headed in. The doctor's appointment took way longer than I expected. So we, we're going to fall in right at the kind of the end of the low tide. So we should be okay. We, we might encounter some incoming tide, which will wash over that bar, you know, like you saw the other day. Yeah, our doctor said that my eyes were red. He thought because I take this blood thinner called Eloquist, and if I rub my eyes, it kind of fractures the little blood vessels and it causes them to be red. He called it some kind of name. But then he said you could also be allergic to the, you know, what did he call it? Just the uh, preservatives in the eye drops that I was using. I, I use something called blink. They, they call them tears. So he gave me some 
preservative free eye drop samples to try. We'll see how it goes. Same place as the other day, except we went east the other day. Today we're going west. You can see the tide's in a little bit high already. The bar's not uncovered. You can see it looks pretty good. Some rocks. It'll get better as we go that way, I hope. Well, we've been about 10, 10 minutes and only iron is all we heard. Only iron. We're kind of, we're kind of hunting in and out. Iron here too, boy. Oh nine. <laughs> Stand by. Well, we've been about 30 minutes now. No targets. All we find is iron. It's an odd kind of day. Yeah, this is Bowser. What do you say, Bowser? Uh oh. Iron. <laughs> Finally, a target. I got the sensitivity at 75. Well, I found it at 85. But I hear it good at 75. It's a 65. 63, 64. Would be a ball cap. A pull tab of five cents. Why well, it's got to be so deep? I got the sensitivity turned down so I don't find these giant Chinese targets. We got it. Well, I say we got it. Oh, I see a pull tab. There that baby is. Look at that.
Well, we dug another pull tab, 64. We got the same thing here. We've got some iron to it now. Could be a ball cap. I don't think I'm going much deeper though. Yeah, it's a 63, jumps to a 59. And that's what it is, some kind of junk, you think. Well, the 
waves are starting to bit a little rough now with the tide's coming in. I think I'm going to turn around and the dam sand going back. Stand by. Well, I'm older today. 79 today. Now this sounds wonderful. But no numbers on the screen whatsoever. Stand by. Look like one of them cuticle things you use on your fingers. Iron. What's that? A cuticle thing you use on your fingers. Junk in other words. <laughs> kids want to know what that was well anyway like I said I'm older today we had a battle at 78 oh John Wick he took care of most of it fancy drug called Zytica and a hormone shot every three months I only got one more of those to go. And I think I take this drug through November. And then I'm okay, according to the doctor. He says I'm okay now. But do as anyone ever know for sure. I guess we'll see as we traverse down this line. Eighty-three. Come out of there, baby. I think it's a piece of junky aluminum. And I was right. A big fat piece of aluminum. Well, I'm trying to figure out which uh, coal I like the best in the water. That's the reason I took the 11 inch footprint today. I, uh, I knew I'd, oh, I probably figured I'd like the 9 inch better than I do. So I think that's what I'm going to go to when I'm hunting in the in the water itself. I'll keep this baby right here for the wash and the damp sand. And I may even consider the bigger footprint 11 by 13. It's not much heavier than this one. I got an extra shaft came with the uh, deuce dehus I could shorten that baby up and use that big footprint and hunt the uh, damp sand and the water's edge in the head of fresh drop zone you know from mid mid the end of this month through August or September I haven't uh bought it yet but I'm considering it this will probably be enough the one I got this 11 inch we have to see how it goes it was kind of bleak today tomorrow is going to be in the 80s I may have to uh, take this same outfit back tomorrow just can't figure out where yet. I know it's going to be on the bay someplace, in the water. Well, the, I got another report from Nada today. The guy said, oh God, it's terrible. Soft sand, mushy everywhere. No targets. A lot of hunters. So I'll probably see you tomorrow. I can't hunt late because we're having a, we're not doing anything for my birthday today. We're doing the birthday dinner tomorrow with all the kids and 
friends. My daughter flew in from Colorado. So I'll have a gathering. I'll get back to you. Stand by. Well, I doubt anybody will be breaking the speed limit to get here. But I got some exercise. 